Time now for sports with Casey Conlon. It's one of the oldest adages in sports. It's tough to beat a team three times in a row. At some point, the underdog is going to figure out a plan. Big Timber couldn't have found theirs at a better time. The Herders blitzed three-fourths in the first half of the 5B championship game last night, jumping out to a 23-point lead on their way to their third district title in seven years. It was the Wolves' first conference loss, including two wins over Big Timber in the regular season by a combined 31 points. What a turnaround. They played us tough both times, and, and we were never in either one of the games. So this time we decided we've got to come out, win it on the defensive end, take advantage of the, our quickness, and get it up the floor and push them and, and take it at them. You know? What did you say in the locker room to those guys when you were just in there? Um, that I was dang proud of them. You know, they, they, they busted their butts, and, and uh, it took every one of those kids, even the kids that didn't get in. Um, they earned it. It was probably the biggest win of the night across Montana because it puts Big Timber on a much easier path at the Southern B Divisional. The 5B second place team draws undefeated Cole Strip. That falls on three forks now. The Herders, meanwhile, avoid the Colts and 18 in one roundup until a possible championship game. A win over St. LeBray and then the Lodgegrass Joliet winner would clinch a ticket to state. They'll have a week and a half to prepare. These games start on March 1st.